grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California. Coming to you with yet another unscripted view into the, a day in the life of a network admin. Um, of this network admin. Other network admins might do something completely different, but this is what I do. So today, it's uh, our theme of fiber continues. I had a, a switch in here that kept falling off well, it wasn't going offline. Two of the links kept dropping offline. Um, well, I'll say two. One of them kept dropping offline. I kept seeing this thing, this one port on the switch go offline. I'm like, what the heck? So I'm going to clean the fibers. So what I did, one second, is I grabbed this bad boy right here. I bought this off of Amazon for, I don't know, ten dollars or something like that it's a fiber optic cleaner and this was uh, on recommendation of one of uh, you guys out there there's a couple of guys out there that really know their fiber uh, much better than I do so uh, this is what I got um, there you go it looks backwards to me I hope it doesn't look backwards to you guys but you can uh, take a look at that and uh, order one of those if you want and the way it works is there's a little tip here take the little protective cap off grab a fiber and you just put it over the ends of your fiber like that where's my camera hopefully that'll focus and you just click it do that to one do that to the other and then if you have a uh, SFP or a, a fiber connector you can also clean those that side by taking the rest of this plastic tip off and sticking the uh, the square end into the end of your fiber or your your SFP or your GBIC, whatever you want to call it. Just click it again and do that for both ports. So this is what I started with. started with this guy cleaning up my fibers. I did that. So the, the link that keeps going down is between this switch and my switch over in the data center next to me. It's also cool because they gave me a toothbrush holder to, to put it in. That's how it comes. Anyway, so I came out here to this switch over yonder. So this, this is the switch that's been giving me the grief. Um, and the uplink ports on this particular switch are in the back. Are they all still up? Yep, they're all still up. And specifically, it was this fiber right here. So what I did is I pulled that off, cleaned it just like I showed you, cleaned the two fibers. I cleaned the SFP, plugged it back in. It was a little better. I thought, yeah, we could do better still. So I went to the other end of this bad boy, which was plugged in. Can we see it? I can't see it, hopefully you can. Just plug in on this end connector up here anyway. That one right there. And so I cleaned the fiber on this end and then I cleaned these connectors here. But that'll do it. Plugged it back in. Now it was offline and I couldn't get I couldn't get that port to come back up no matter what. So what I did is I took fiber that was plugged in here on this empty port and moved it over to this port right here. So that's the fiber that I cleaned and I moved over. And once I did that, and then I checked both ends of the switch, um, they're both up, so that was great. And furthermore, what I really liked, uh, my laptop went to sleep, hang on just one second. Put you down there and you can stare at uh, nothing in particular while I type. Password again. That's not that. Won't work with cap locks on. There we go. So basically, what I was looking for on this, on the switch side here, the edge switch where I am now, uh, I was seeing lots of CRC errors on port 49, this top port, and you can see there are none there. And Furthermore, and hitherto, go back over here to the core switch, 
and see if I can scroll up and show you where it was having all the errors. trying to find it where I first checked it. There we go. So when I first checked it, see this is this is the port I was dealing with, one with 42 frame checks. Yeah, should not be this condition. And you can see the other port's even worse. It's having all kinds of frame check errors. And uh, these link failures right here occur when this core switch here that we're looking at, it'll if it sees the link flapping up and down a lot, it'll just shut it off and then it'll increment the link failure counter. So I replaced, like I said, I moved that uh, fiber over to a different home run between here and the other end. And this is what I started seeing, zero. I kept checking, I kept checking, it kept staying at zero. I thought, oh, that's awesome. So what I did is I said, you know what? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move that other fiber over. So I did, um, the other fiber I was working on is right over here. It's this guy right here. So I moved this one from here to here, and this one from, you see, you see what I'm doing? <laughs> from here to here. So basically just moved both fibers over to two new home runs. And so far, here, we'll just do an up arrow in real time. Yeah, the errors have not come back. So that's good. Let's go over to the uh, other switch. Where's my mouse. Hang on, I lost my mouse. Right, there you are. Pesky little critter. And, yeah still see there's no errors on here and if I do do someone to look at the sharing no, I haven't done that show this is usually the first thing I do is show sharing and uh, it'll tell me if all the ports are up so you can see port 50 had one transition that's when I moved the uh, counter over let's do uh, clear Counters, port, is it 50? 50. All right, sorry, you guys had a really bad view there for a second. I'm going to clear the counters on that port. Show sharing. No transitions. Everybody's up. The master port is alive and happy. Still having no errors. No counters incrementing. One more. Yep. Okay, so I've been going round and round with this one and it's mostly sorry, here I'll I'll get in the frame in a second here. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. I have a really chintzy tripod. Um, yeah, I basically just didn't want to believe it was the, uh, the home run between here and uh, the data center where this goes. Um, so I, I've swapped out the fibers and SFPs and everything on each end, trying everything. I mean, multiple times. <laughs> Talk about the definition of insanity. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that seems to be what did it, you know. You can think of that. I mean, I swapped out the SFPs as well didn't do anything so it really was the home run and I had extra ones it's just a hassle because it's a it's a 10 minute walk between this room and the data center where I work so you know to do this it's like walk over here I've changed something walk back over there change something so I've already walked over there to move these fibers a couple of times so um, why didn't I get Tariq to help? And I'm sorry, I misspoke in one of my comments. I said he spoke, he speaks Urdu. Well, he kind of does, but it's Pashtu. I meant to say he's 
fluent in Pashto for the gentleman from Afghanistan that said hello. So, yeah, Tariq family comes from Afghanistan. He's a good guy. And, uh, yeah, why am I not having Tariq help today? Well, he does work on the help desk and he is actually having to do his real job today. So, I mean, learning this is something he wants to do, um, but I'm not going to try to make him work two jobs um, for one pay, you know, one paycheck. So, when he has time and he's not busy, then I bring him along with me and uh, teach him what I can. So, um, so that's done. That's good. I think we've got a few other fibers that we might have to do the same thing to. Um, I'm just going to keep monitoring. One thing I have noticed with this whole extreme fabric thing is that when you have some interface errors on one link, it can definitely affect other links. And I'm not sure why that is. I can't give you an explanation. I can't give you proof. It's just something I've noticed. Um, when a couple video go, videos ago when I um, replaced that uh, QSF, big expensive 40 gig link. Um, I replaced that and a bunch of my other problems went away once that thing got replaced and it's working correctly. And this seems to be the same thing. I mean when when we had that one flaky, flaky link I still had two good 20 gigabyte links coming to this switch but response time to the switch was really really iffy. Well, management response time was really, really slow and iffy. So I guess it was trying to log a whole bunch of stuff while it was trying to uh, respond to my management demands. Um, so I don't know. That's just something to keep in mind in your, your daily activities, you know. Uh, some things that you think wouldn't be related sometimes can be. Again, no proof. It's just a gut, gut feel and empirical just noticing, hey, when I fixed that, all this other stuff got better. But I, I couldn't give you the, uh, the absolute why that is. And to those of you out there that that really disappoints, that I don't want to dig in and do a root cause analysis, tough. So anyway, that's all I got for this week, guys. Um, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and uh, we'll see you all next week. God bless.